Hi and welcome to my tutorial, although to call it a tutorial is a bit of an exaggeration because I'm doing something a bit different today. Um, I've got a vintage pattern magazine and there's a particular stitch that caught my fancy, that caught my fancy. So um, it's a multiple of eight stitches plus two for the foundation chain. So I'm going to make, I think, 24, 32, 34 chains. So the first row is just um, the foundation row, which is a row of trebles. So we're going to treble into the third chain from the hook and then into each chain until we get to the end. I'm using um, James Secret paint box yarn. I thought it might be interesting to see this stitch in a variegated yarn. So now on to the first row of the pattern. So it says three chains, one treble into next treble, and then three chains, miss three trebles, and a cluster into the next treble. So I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, the cluster stitch is a bit different to what you would call a cluster stitch in modern day crochet. So this is, um, in a second so one treble into the next treble three chains and miss three trebles and then we're going to do a double crochet two chains another double crochet three chains start them again so double crochet two chains another double crochet three chains oh, this yarn is a nightmare and another double crochet, followed by two chains. And then another double crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to miss three treble, chain three, Check that foundation row, first row, three chain, one treble, two next, three chain, this three treble. Yes, yeah, a treble into the next one. So three chains and miss three trebles and treble into the next one. And then another three chains and miss three trebles, double crochet, two chains, double crochet, three chains. crochet remember this is all into the same stitch two chains and double crochet so obviously now we're going to
chain three and do another cluster stitch uh, sorry another treble so miss three chain three work a treble into the next stitch and then miss three chain three and work another cluster and so on until you get to the end of the row so as you can see i've ended with a cluster stitch followed by um double crochet into the last stitch actually that was meant to be a treble of course I'm learning as I go here okay so for the second row into the turning chain from the previous row. Right, so now three chain and we're just going to do a treble into the middle chain arch. And then we're going to chain three and we're going to work a cluster into the treble from the previous row. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain three and double crochet, chain two again. into the same space and then chain three. Oh this is yarn honestly. Two, three and then we're going to treble into the middle chain arch of the previous cluster stitch. Chain three and then work a cluster into the previous treble. So chain two, double crochet back into the same stitch, chain three, double crochet into the same stitch, chain two, and double crochet back into the same stitch, chain three, and then a treble into the next middle chain chain three arch of the next cluster stitch and end the row with chain three treble into the last stitch oh this yarn again I shouldn't say that my dad used to always say bad workman always blames his tools into the turning chain. So let's see what we've got for round four. Sorry I did mean round three. So we're going to be just 
chain in two and then a double crochet into the three chain loop three chains and double crochet into the next treble three chains and double crochet into the next three chain arch and just continue doing that until the end of the row then finish with a DC double crochet into the turning chain and turn so for the fourth row we have to work trebles into each stitch so chain three and then treble into the first stitch and then treble into the three chains if you wanted to be a bit lazy you could just do three trebles in the three chain space but I'm trying to do it properly so, so that's pretty much it just treble into every stitch and every chain from the row below and that is the pattern the four rows of the pattern so when you get to the end of this row treble into the turning chain and and do this row again obviously we're doing a row of trebles now so we'll do the next repeat the last four rows until you've achieved the size you want for whatever you're making. I mean this stitch is perfect for blankets. The original the original pattern is for a lady's waistcoat. Um, I did think about making that but I wasn't sure how popular that would be in this day and age, but the stitch is absolutely lovely. So yeah, just continue working that stitch. I'm just doing a sample here, so I'll uh, take a photograph of the finished square when I've done it.